questions were running high in Hot Topics yesterday when we were talking about the government-funded Planned Parenthood, but the debate got very personal in Congress last week when two Congresswomen took the floor to share how unplanned pregnancy and abortion touched their lives. Take a look. I am really touched by the passion of uh, the opposite, you know, to want to save black babies. I can tell you I know a lot about having black babies. I've had three of them. And I had my first one when I was 18 years old. I had a procedure at 17 weeks, pregnant with a child that had moved from the vagina into the cervix. And that procedure that you just talk about was a procedure that I endured. I lost a baby. Mm. Please welcome Wisconsin Congresswoman Gwen Moore and California Congresswoman Jackie Speer. We're glad that you're both here. Courageous, indeed, what you did to bring your own personal stories. Let's go back. The, the House Republicans last week passed an amendment to strip Planned Parenthood of government funding, mainly because of abortions, right? Um, and when you shared your personal stories, I, I think it touched many women, including us. We were here sitting at the table talking about it. Congresswoman Moore, um, your unplanned pregnancy, did that affect your role in politics now? Oh, absolutely. I, I can tell you that at the time I had this unplanned pregnancy, I lost an opportunity to go to Radcliffe, um, and I raised my daughter, and, and but for the grace of God, I, I don't know how we made it. We had a lot of family support, support from friends and Marquette University. Uh, but as I think back uh, on our lives, um, you know, I've had inadequate daycare, uh, subjected her to uh, sexual predators. Mm -hmm. We've been food insecure. Um, and um, um, she's a great woman now, age 41. Um, but she totally supports Planned Parenthood uh, and, and, and their role and goal in helping women manage their lives. And a lot about public policy um, has prevents women from self-actualizing. Um, you know, we ended welfare as we knew it um, so that there is no uh, guarantee of public support for women and children. No safety net. No safety net whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And from the moment you crown, you don't have the protection of those who say that they want to see children being born. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, in this, this uh, uh, budget, repair budget bill, um, they stripped $747 million out of WIC, literally taking what is, tell them what WIC is. A women, infants, and children's program. It's a program that provides supplements for nursing women and for babies. Um, cut out the child and maternal health services um, and stripped all kinds of services uh, for women. Many people have called this budget, a war on women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make very clear, because if you just saw those clips, because Congressman Spear, you also uh, got up and told the most personal story of your own experience, which you had not intended to do, because it, you are for Planned Parenthood, because they, it's not just abortions. They give so much money to education, to helping uh, women understand what their problems HIV might be, testing, HIV testing, etc. No, so your standing up was to say, hey, you know, it's not just abortions, but if you need one, let me tell you my story, correct? That's correct. In fact, what we were debating on the floor was defunding $300 million to Planned Parenthood just for the health care, for the breast Nothing cancer screening. Abortion. Nothing about abortions. In fact, no federal dollars can go to abortions in the budget. Again, please, no please, federal really dollars wow. can go to abortions. I, I, I'd like to add, though, I just to, over 30 years. Years. But to, to be clear, Planned Parenthood is the largest recipient of federal funds, also the nation's largest provider of abortions. My question is, because I, come, I, issues. I understand that, if so separate, why not separate them? They why not separate. have it? Why not have it under a different name, a different entity, and why put it all under one so there's no confusion, so the taxpayer doesn't then have to feel as though their money could potentially be going to an abortion where someone else is deciding the value of a life in their mind? Okay. Why First not separate? Of all, the family planning. It's fungible. The, the, the money is not fungible. It's 90 percent, literally 90 percent of the services that Planned Parenthood provide are 
diagnosis for cervical off. cancer, diabetes, and only 10% of their yeah, services. My point is separate the entities. It, 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 it is separate. Why not, separate. Why not, separate. not under Planned Parenthood? It's important to know that, first of all, they're audited constantly. Mm -hmm. They have separate facilities to provide services for abortion from the facilities that provide health care to women. They have separate staff. They have separate... Um, um, <coughs> equipment, everything is separate. They didn't even do the services on the same day. But it day. still falls under Planned Parenthood umbrella, correct? But My but point but is but it could be clear to everybody if it was just called something no, else. No, it wouldn't be clear. This is the public. This is also what they yeah. do, though. You know, this live action, when they put out the video, they, they released a video um, showing some Planned Parenthood employees advising on uh, people giving false information so they can get an abortion. Now, they got the, the Planned Parenthood, they got, they got fired, the specific employee. In Jersey. Could this, in Jersey, could this happen again? Well, it happens this, all the time. It's been going on for four years where they've come into Planned Parenthood trying to do these entrapments. It was one woman she was fired out of 11,000 employees at Planned Parenthood. One this was caught a, doing it, right? It's 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 Planned Parenthood prevents abortions. Is this going to right. is this bill going to be passed? What, what do you think is going to happen with this amendment? It's on, it's it, on it, it the Senate side. It prevents more now. abortions than it provides because women it do. It has to be the law of the land also. Let's not forget Roe v. Wade is part of the uh, law of this country. Understand. It's not like they do it. just a different let, let them it prevents abortions and it also prevents unhealthy births mm -hmm. you know when you become pregnant you do need supportive services the you know planned parenthood's clients 75 percent of them are at 150 percent or below poverty level and 60 percent of all women use this as their primary health care system i agree you know i think you're both courageous women for coming Thank here and we are so glad that we can have this kind of discussion only can we have it here our thanks for congressman one more on jackie spear we will be right back thank you both